Hello guys, I'm Fred from the Fredekis team and in this dev vlog I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the top features coming next patch. So stay tuned, let's begin. Starting off with the menu redesign, we have given the game a cleaner look with dynamic backgrounds that change depending on the game mode I just select. Um, this small update also includes some small changes across the UI and stuff. Nice. I'm very excited to show you the new community market, where any player can buy items from other players or put their own items on sale. You can browse all the items on sale and for each item you can then see all the individual offers put up by different players. When selling an item, you'll expect to pay a small percentage fee applied to the total price, which is like the individual price multiplied by the amount sold. Once the item is put for sale, it will immediately be removed from your inventory, but if nobody has bought it yet, or if the time expires, you can always claim it back. We have developed a new engine feature allowing the change of servers without having to log out. It's especially useful for battery out as you won't need to load the whole map again in order to join a new match. This feature is still in beta and thus we're only adding it to battery out for now, but could possibly be available in the future for a quick server switch in other game modes. Nice. PvP players have been requesting their stats to be added to the seasonal, monthly and weekly leaderboards for a while. So we created a new leaderboard specific to the stats obtained in PvP servers. A new server flag has been added that when enabled, the server will use our new improved high accuracy netcode for hit registration. This new system works together with the server's real-time data in order to detect when a player with a high ping shoots you and gets the hit on you even though you're behind cover already. The new system will initially only be tested in maybe some PvP servers and when it's ready we might roll it out in some desired official servers and also available as an option for private or event servers. Well that concludes the highlights of this upcoming patch, leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to share it with your friends to keep them up to date. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in game.